This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett, and this is The Ramble. And we go until midnight tonight. Yes, okay, okay. Wait a minute, come on, come on, camera. There we go. Well, no, oh, here we go. There we go. I say I got a problem tonight. Again, I didn't check before I went on the air, and I should have, and because uh, I try to change things, and I can't change them. Uh, because my stream deck isn't working. Okay. Well, I'll just have to remember to do this all by hand tonight, you know, that's it. and um, figure out how I'm going to pull this off. Let me see here. Let me do that. Okay. And then I will uh, do, a, you know, I will do transitions and so on uh, and uh, try and uh, talk to you. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see here. Let me, uh, let me admit Phil. Uh, because we, you know, as you know, we we talked to him on uh, at the, uh, early on on this show. So uh, let me see here. And so then I have to go here. See, I don't know how to do this anymore because all I have to usually do is push buttons. But, um, you know, I've written the company over and over again about this problem. And they don't solve it. You know, and that gets me. Hello there, Phil. Hey, uh, am I on the uh, YouTube stream? Yes, you are, I think. Oh, uh, okay. you should there be. There we are. Yes, you should be. Now I am. Yeah, I mean, oh. I, I hate it when you do that to me <laughs> and, and act like I didn't, uh, I did, uh, you know, I was screwing up enough as it was already. At the beginning, well, there's a little space because I had to figure out why it wasn't working. And oh, it's just, you know, I'm tired of this. Anyway, I'm so tired of it. I'm not doing a show tomorrow night. Oh, really? No. Uh, well, you couldn't, uh, you know, come to the idea that it was just an ex-producer of yours telling you that you needed to do something? You know, I'm what, here to help. Uh, wait, no, no, no. I just I just decided that uh, tomorrow night I'm taking the night off, you know. Good. I'm, I'm tired Good. of this. Nothing works. Nothing works, you know, and I'm tired of it. I like things to go smoothly. I'd like this thing to start smoothly. And then I went to push the button to get the gap net open to go and it won't go because you know and there's no way of me once we've started the show you short can't add of the logo? stopping short of stopping the show ah i have to oh. i have to go with this so i'll just i'll i'll do this uh, so that means my name is not going to flash across huh my name in red is not going to uh, come up. Oh, oh, you know something? I didn't do that tonight, did I? Oh, yeah. Hey. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to get ripped off here, you know? I don't, I, mean, want, I don't want you to get ripped off either. Okay, certain there, things there, in my contract there we go. That, that need to be placed in there, including the brown M&Ms. Maybe I just don't care anymore, huh? <laughs> well, you better care about the M&Ms. No. See, I, um, um, uh, it's just that these shows, nobody's watching them anymore. Nobody's watching. Well, you know? you know, we need another pandemic. You get a pandemic, you lock some people in their homes, they'll watch the show. Oh, and they've changed the way things look. It, analytics, uh, edit video, I don't want that. What, what is this? Oh. It, 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 oh, they, oh, they've changed everything. Yeah. Even over at uh, YouTube. Nobody likes change. You know, I was listening to a guy who... Uh, 23 people are watching, and the stream started uh, eight minutes ago. Yeah, well... Okay. Uh, but Charlie posted, and, uh, you know, this mm -hmm. other guy, a uh, uh, some sort of uh, Trump denier, you know, saying that he didn't do anything to help along with COVID. Uh, I uh, heard today... He didn't. Yeah, Okay. Uh, I, I just, I, I just we, want. We, I just we won't want, talk I, about the vaccine and. Uh, he, he, and he didn't do much. The vaccine was already uh, yeah, being produced. Yeah. The vaccine okay. was already on the pipeline, without yeah, him. Yeah, because of Trump. So no, anyway, not because of Trump. Yeah. Uh, what what did he call it? Warp speed. 
an yes, but he's also the guy that said there was no problem out there. This would subside in a couple of months. I mean, and it would have, it would have, if they would have followed the same procedure oh, that I'm they did in Florida. I'm tired of this. No wonder people, right. no wonder people hey, don't listen to this program anymore. Now, let me ask Not you when something. Idiocy like that is allowed. Well, I, I, I w- this is why I'm here. Uh, I, uh, first of all, uh, I was going to ask you how you were feeling. That's enough. Uh, and uh, then uh, I was going to say, did you watch any of the debates? Do I look healthy? <laughs> Yeah, actually. I do look healthy. Okay. Yeah. Well, and I guess yeah, I'm not you got, sick. You got color. Uh, the mouth is moving. And uh, yeah. It's, but I don't no. look sick. No. Oh, okay. Do you feel sick? Well, yeah, all the time. Oh, uh, okay. Constantly. Well, anyway, what were you, you going to say? You get pleasure from that. Did I watch any of the debates? Yeah. Uh, there was several gubernatorial debate, debates. There was uh, the Hochul, uh, Lee Zeldin. There was... Um, the California debate uh, with Dahl and uh, uh, what's his name, uh, the mayor of San Francisco. Um, uh, now, of course, I just forgot his name. He's so not memorable. But uh, hmm, okay, well, we'll let you uh, just hang out there. Huh? Yeah, thanks a lot. That's hey, know. hey, I help you out and tell you when you're not coming out on uh, the, the uh, feed. So you know. You mean, I'll give you his first. I'll give you his initials. Gavin Newsom. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So uh, I watched how, that. How one. did Gavin Newsom do? He did okay. He did fine, right? Um, you know, he, I think he did fine to his base, which is probably most of California. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I think the other guy, uh, his, his only downfall was he smirked uh, during uh, some of the things that Gavin Newsom said. I think that he should have been uh, more, um, I don't know, gov- gubernatorial, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it was almost like he was he was laughing, he was smirking. Uh, it wasn't uh, it, it wasn't pretty, uh, although I liked what he had to say. And, you know, everybody's going to look at it from from different ways. I also looked at the uh, or watched in its entirety the uh, the debate with uh, Charlie Crist and the uh, DeSantis. Mm-hmm. Uh, I watched. Uh, how did the, that? How did it go? Of course, you love DeSantis. You know. Yeah, I mean, uh, Charlie Crisp. Uh, Crisp is a, a seasoned professional and an excellent. And, and DeSantis isn't. Not as not as smooth as oh, Charlie Crisp. Come Christ. on, come on. Uh, no, there. Charlie Crisp. Uh, you know, I think DeSantis was. I don't know if he was nervous. Uh, I just don't think he was as polished as as chris but i'm not looking for polished i'm looking for what the well you shouldn't be looking for anything because you don't live in florida so you shouldn't give a crap well i used to live in florida no i used to live in new york and and all of those things are important to the to the national scene you know um uh, you're living in a state that's got uh, draconian laws and uh, and you would do much better. What do you mean? Uh, what, for what you, instance, what do you mean uh, draconian we, laws? We, Why do we have uh, the, gun, the gun laws? Uh, are, well, that's uh, not draconian. You don't even know what draconian. Yeah, is. well, it's they. The Supreme Court protected the Second Amendment, but your governor Hochul says that all areas are sensitive areas, so you can't carry it in those areas. So what they're doing is they're just trying to uh, uh, legislate around your rights. But that's why I say my it's rights. Tricky. I don't consider it my right. Well, I consider it my right. Well, because you like to carry a gun. Well, yeah. You know, which is, I think, insane. Well, uh, it depends on you know what what you do in life. I let me I, ask I, you a question uh, here. Let me yeah. ask you a question. I thought about this the other night. You know, mm-hmm. every time you're involved in something, maybe you're going to pay taxes, or you're going to buy something, or you get a, a bonus for something or whatever there are perks right and you know what a Sometimes. perk what a perk is yeah, yeah. it's a freebie uh, uh-huh. or an add on can you a... tell me and and please don't uh, don't be personal about this okay um, tell me perks that i have as an american of uh, well, the Constitution. No, that that is simply a written piece of paper. That's not necessarily a perk because unless they properly go in with that Constitution, 
and I am treated as that Constitution says I should be treated, then it's really just a worthless piece of paper. Well, uh, there's been a lot of blood spilt for the last several hundred years. No, no, no. I'm, to protect that isn't that. what I asked you. I asked you, what is the perk of being an American? Well, it's it's exemplified by the people trying to come across the border to, uh, to no, no, live no, no, in no. You're, you're getting off topic and you're turning it in another direction. Well, you're, you're asking not, me you're not what are the answering, perks. You're not answering the question. What's the perks? The, the ability to earn a living to wait a uh, minute everybody a has a right to earn a living they can earn a living in russia they can earn a living in some of the smallest c countries in the world what the, what do you mean that you can earn a living okay that's not uh, a perk that's not a perk as a matter of fact that means you work and then you get uh -huh. money for the work you do so that's not a perk that is a that is taking care of you for doing the job that's right. not a perk. And the perk there, might be the perk might be that at that job you get uh, uh, medical, okay, or you get uh, some kind of benefit. You get four hundred one k's or whatever. But well, that's not well, so, that's not an American benefit. That's not an American perk. That's a business perk. But I okay, want, well, I want a you're, perk. you're are you referring to things like social security? That's and, not a perk. Uh, I'm paying for it. Yeah, but it's but you're you're getting something for what you're paying no, for. And no, there's a lot of countries no, but, but, out there. But it's like I bu I'm buying old age insurance is what I'm buying. But there's a lot of countries out there that you you give but you don't get anything back. Uh, like where? Venezuela. Venezuela has had all kinds of financial problems and so on. Correct. But you know it's not. I mean, come on. You, ha you still haven't told me a perk of being an American. Uh, I I believe it's free speech. Oh no! And, oh no! I don't and, have that. I don't have that. It's the right you don't to have, do you as don't, well as you want to you, do. You, you, oh, Phil! You know, Phil, that uh, is all propaganda to get you to put in and and to do something uh, to benefit uh, the uh, the United States. But it's nothing. It's benefiting you. The only reason you're working is so you don't starve and so that you can pay the rent. Yeah, but you know that—that's why I am part of a society, and no, I go you're to not. work. Yeah, you're not, and, Phil. And no, I, you're not. I employ Phil, people. If you like what Trump says, you're not part of a society. How do you how do you mean that? Because Trump is not part of a society. He doesn't believe that anybody needs to be part of a society, least of all him. Uh, I don't. I don't see uh, your. Uh, well, that's because you're a moron, that. Phil. Well, you know, that was also one of the things that I saw that was a Democratic talking point, getting oh. back to what I originally what, started. What, Phil was about. a moron? No, no, uh. which was uh, I watched a number of debates, and uh, many of the Democrats would say, well, I didn't see a question in that, or I didn't see an answer in what you said. Uh, and uh, it was it was amazing. There were three different debates on mm -hmm. in different parts of the country that use the exact same talking point and uh, uh but i i will get back to your uh to your question what are the perks mm -hmm. i don't believe that we need perks to be part of society we make our own perks wait a minute I pay taxes. What 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 perks, no. what perks am I getting for those taxes? Well, if you drove a car, you'd be getting streets and police and fire no, and those are, those uh, are, libraries and, and public and, schools. And most of those are local taxes. What's the difference? These uh, no, are. I'm so about, What are you looking for from federal? I'm talking about federal being a, being a citizen. A perk of being a citizen. A road. Well, I, a road is a perk. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, have you been to Albania lately? I'll tell you, don't pay me, don't pay me, don't uh, uh, tax me, and I'll be happy to put in for for roads. I'll oh, be happy to do so, my fair share. So you you you're you're not a socialist when uh, when it comes time for you to uh, pay taxes. No, I'm social. But... Uh, no, that has nothing to do with it, Phil. All I'm asking you is a simple question. Yeah. You know, you pay taxes. You're part of this uh, country. Uh, you pledge allegiance to the flag. What perk are you getting for that? I'm getting the protection of the U.S. military. Oh, God. Uh, no, I'm, no, you're I'm, not getting the protection of the U.S. I, military. I, you are getting the protection of a bunch of people who are pressed into military service. 
I, except and for used, January 6th. And used as, and used as ca cannon fodder. And now you're going to bring up January 6th, which is not what I'm asking you about, Phil. Except you, no, for no, you're January like every You're like every goddamn Republican. Anytime okay. you ask them a question, they immediately bring up something else and try and swerve the discussion that uh, way. You, you, that's because you don't listen. I'm hey, listening. Look, I said, except for I January have to listen. 6th. I have earphones in. Okay, when is the last time that this country was invaded? When was the last time this country was invaded? By another country. How exactly do you invade this country? That's right. No, uh, no. It's a we, perk uh, of no, living here. No, it's no, very difficult. No, it's a perk of geography. Right, but it's, it's, it's a perk, a perk, of, of, it's a perk of geography that we are a country that is pretty much has oceans on both sides. So for us to be invaded is very difficult. That's correct. Canada's not coming after us, and Mexico's not coming after us. Well, they they did, both of them, but uh, we were able to fight them off. All I'm saying is, I you know, was, come on, you know. Okay. I get, well, I get, I get nothing. Know, I, I, get, I don't need I, get I don't need nothing, a perk. I get nothing. Oh, you don't need a perk. Oh, that's wonderful. No, I you know, I make my own perks. I make my own uh, uh, future living. I'll tell you, I won't pay any taxes. And mm -hmm. I won't uh, go vote. I won't do any of those things. Just leave me the fuck alone. Oh, uh, well, you know, voting is a perk in this country, too. Oh, that's a perk? Oh, really? Yeah. And, and, and aren't you, well, part, of right, the, aren't you part of the group of people who say that our, our elections are, are rigged? Uh, I believe that there are some problems with our elections. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that... So don't give me that. Fully, don't give me you can vote. Routine. They, they will be fully investigated once the Republicans take over the House and the Senate. Uh, I believe that they will get to the bottom of all of this. Well, the Republicans take over the Senate and the House, and this democracy is finished. Well... Uh, it's finished for the Democrats that are pulling all of these. Uh, I mean, don't you don't eight. you like a guy like like Mehmet Oz, who says, "Well, I think that uh, abortion should be a decision between a woman, her doctor, and their elected officials." Where that's do not they what he said. Uh, That's what he said, Phil. I listened to what he said. I he listened said to what he said too, he, Phil. He, he's protecting life. No, that's no, that's said. not what he said. He said, "Quote." I think it's between a doctor, a woman, and local politicians, L local well, elected officials. Excuse me, I'm, and that's the exact quote. Well, you know, it's true that uh, that it's on a local level no, right now. But you said that he, he, you said he never level. said that. He said that. Well, okay, maybe he did say it. And so it when went, when does an elected official have the right to come between a person and their body? Because the elected official is elected by a majority of the people in that area, and that and those people want what he, uh, he stands for, which is to uh, well, they're not going to want. They're not. Weeks. I don't think they're going to want him, no matter what happened in that debate. I don't think. Uh, I think he's going to win by better than he should have. But that's how right. idiotic the American public has become. Now, I think that the Fetterman uh, Oz debate, which I did also, I watched that too. Uh, I believe, you know, I, I felt I felt bad for Fetterman. Uh, I, I really felt you ever you ever see a boxing match where they they stop the match out of mercy for the guy that's getting pummeled. Well, that's what they should have done. Well, here's uh, what was wrong Fetterman with that Oz. whole debate. OK, to begin with, uh, he has aphasia uh, yeah. as a result of the stroke. It's nothing that would prevent him from being a senator. It just gives him, it's, it's difficult for him to hear a question and then to answer it, okay? And that will disappear with time. That, that's a known thing. Aphasia disappears with time. Okay, let me finish with what I'm saying. They had a rule of like a 15-second answer. Well, for him, that was unfair. They changed it for him, though. No, they didn't change it. They, they extended the, the, the debate uh, no, they and, didn't. No, yeah, they, didn't. They, they, only, they allowed him to see it on a monitor. Uh, they allowed him to see it on a monitor, but they didn't change the amount of time he had to answer the question. Uh, I'm not and, sure. And that every that's... time he was trying to answer the question, ding. I'm not sure that's correct. I didn't see him well, uh, get no, cut off I'm once. I'm sorry. He, he, the, the debate rules were you have 15 seconds to answer. 
No, I thought he had a minute and a half. Maybe in some uh, cases, a minute and a half. There shouldn't have been yeah, any time well, limit. Well, there was certain rebuttals that they got 30 seconds. Oh, well, they there got 15 certain... seconds. They got a minute to answer a question or whatever. But the point I'm making is the way the rules were set up was unfair to him and his medical condition. And then you had, uh, you, you know, you had Oz who, you know, what does he know? Now, I, you know, yeah, I, the, by the way, I, you know, I got to know Mehmet Oz yeah. because he worked at Sirius XM and we all agreed he pretty much was the biggest asshole in the building. Uh, maybe to the guys on the left. I mean, no, I, no, obviously. no. To everybody. He was uh, people found him just obnoxious and and difficult. Oh, uh, did, didn't they find you the same way? No, not at all. They, they thought the world <laughs> of me I, because I, I was very yeah, well you know, respected. You're a good person and, and well respected. Uh, any now uh, the Oz debate. Uh, the, well, if this aphasia is only a temporary thing, mm -hmm. then why doesn't Fetterman pull out of the race and run next time? No, I think he should continue in the race and say, if I find that at any point I am incapable of doing my job, we will appoint someone to be senator. Right. You know, what you're voting for, what you're voting for is either the Democrat or the Republican, not the uh, whether I can do this. Uh, you know, he believes he can do it. I don't think Fetterman would be doing this unless he thought he could do it. And I thought it was very brave of him to get up there last night or a couple of nights ago and to at the beginning of it say, hey, look, here's my condition. I want you to know it's going to cause some problems here tonight but I don't want you to take them wrong. My doctor feels I should be here, and uh, I'm going to try and answer these questions to the best of my ability. Do you agree with his positions? Uh, you Most know, of them. Yeah. Two years ago, he said he w did not agree with fracking. Uh, four years ago, he said he would not allow fracking. Now, during the debate, uh, Fetterman said, I always supported fracking, and they and they showed clips of him saying uh, that he didn't. Uh, well, support everybody fracking. doesn't. Everybody so have the, doesn't. Everybody have the right to change their minds. Well, no, he lied because he said he never uh, said he was against fracking. All right. All right. Well, you know, Oz is one big lie because he says he he lives in Pennsylvania when he's got a home, when he really his home is in New Jersey. Uh, you know, Pennsylvania and New Jersey are right next to no, each no, other. That, Phil, don't. But use he's got that he's got excuse. many homes, and I am sure that he established residency before. You know, look at Hillary Clinton. Uh, she was from Arkansas. I know. She established uh, and residency, that's, and that's in why I was uh, that's why I was always against her being a senator from New York. Well, it's just that's the rules, and that's the way they do things. Uh, I was against her being but a senator. But they have continued to live in New York all these years, so really she is a New York resident. Well, uh, and if elected, Mehmet Oz will live in Washington, D.C., yeah. so, just like the rest of them. Mehmet Oz, I mean, there are a lot of things really wrong about him, not to mention all the snake oil that he was pitching for all those years that was unhealthy for people. Yeah. You know, not to mention the 300 dogs he killed in the name of... Uh, of, uh, of uh, what do you call it? research? Well, I didn't know about it. You of didn't that. know about the three hundred dogs? No. Oh well, I'm you know now. How yeah, do you feel? Well, How it do you didn't feel? seem like a dog? I want to hear what your excuse is now for that. Well, I don't know anything about it. Well, I just told. Oh, so how can I comment on it? I said he killed three hundred dogs in the name of research. Yeah. Okay. The, you know, at one point people were doing that. Well, but I oh, don't oh, know. Oh. I don't like using uh, dogs to uh, to do research unless it's for you know life saving research for cosmetics and for uh, things like that. I, I'm not in favor of uh, animal testing. There's no reason to use animal testing ever. Well, uh, ever. Maybe, but it's better ever. than human testing. Ever. Now, yeah. now you see, there you go, changing it. Okay, no, I'm not you know, changing that's it. Not an, that's, that's not an answer. Rather, that's not an I would answer. rather, I would rather see dogs used to uh, defeat disease. And I don't and, think they are needed for that. It's been shown that what we find out with animals is very little. Oz is like a hack doctor, you know, and he he. I'm sure. You what know, kind of surgeon was he? He was a heart surgeon. Heart surgeon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he, uh, how many hearts did he hack? I have no idea. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean. You anyway, don't get the to point that I'm level. making. The point I'm making is, is that 
you know, uh, Fetterman, I, you know, I don't know who I would, I mean, I wouldn't vote for Oz, but I don't know if I feel great about voting for Fetterman, you know. Uh, but uh, just like here in New York, um, I, I'm finding it very hard to vote for Hochul, but I will not vote for that slimy little bastard she's running against. <laughs> no, and well, I'm saying you're... I'm saying he's a slimy little bastard because what he's done is he's 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 Trump's Trump's pal. He's against mm -hmm. all forms of abortion, without uh, without time uh, the health of a, of the uh, uh, person, excuse me, the health of the person involved or any of that. You know, I mean, he's a just he's he's on the wrong side of everything that's morally right. Funny thing is, I agree with everything that he oh, had you to do? say. Oh, you do? Oh, you do? Okay. All right. Well, then, you I, know, I, 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 then I then I you find, know, you, I find always, you a despicable human being. Right. There is okay. always two positions. There's always a left and a right or a yin and a yang. And there are different ways. Everybody wants to get to the same place. They, they want peace on earth. They want people to be healthy. They, they want people to have good lives and their families to feel secure and, and eat. Um, and the people want to get to the same place differently. But what I'm finding about politics is that more of them that once they're elected to office, they get drunk on the power, the, the power of the office, and they and they want to control people's lives rather than help people uh, uh, gain the, the benefits of being an American. Uh -huh. And those benefits are what is what, what are the perks? You still haven't really sufficiently well, you know, answered that I, question. I, I'm, I'm not looking for change in my pocket to be a perk. I my, that, that, perk you know, is, I'm not talking about a change in, uh, about change in your pocket. I'm talking about a perk of being American, something you get for being an American that's undeniable. Well, I, I get, you know, I get the I get the rights of the Bill of Rights and and the oh yeah, really, which ones? Well, the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. I don't. I. I uh, I've been. I'm a, not I've been on radio. To, how long? Have I, how long I've been doing talk shows, Phil? Well, a long time. I never That's had. What, I, I never felt I had my First Amendment right. Well, you didn't as long as someone else was paying you, but now you do. No, no. I. It wasn't a matter well, who, of paying you me. You know who would take you off the air for saying what it is you believe oh, in? Oh, uh, if this were a broadcast uh, radio. But right it's now, not. But if it were. I mean, here yeah. I have no, the, you know, the only thing they take me off for, and I, I you know, I have to, uh, I, I was going to get into this. Well, let me bring on the other people here so right. that we can, well, I can have them be part of the conversation. Okay. All right. Here they go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, somebody's got their uh, audio on. Yeah. Well, yeah. not anymore. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was... You know, I, I'll, I'll tell you somebody who, who doesn't have freedom of speech, and, and not that I agree with this person, and not that I think that he should go, uh, should say things and not have certain people go against him, but uh, Ye, or Kanye West, as some other people know him as, made some statements about Jews. Uh, which I found completely appalling and disgusting and vile and mm -hmm. everything else. Are uh, you sure? Wait a minute, let me, will you let me finish what I'm saying, Phil? All right. I thought it was a conversation. No, because, Sorry. no it's not a conversation. See, I don't have freedom of no, speech. No. <laughs> go ahead, Phil. What do you want to say? Go ahead. No, it's okay. Finish. No, go uh, ahead. I'm, I'm finished. I, 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 I don't I, even want to say it. I, I, you know, because I'm not going to be able I to get saw it some of the, the Kanye West statements. And I thought that they were taken out of context. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Me? Are you out no. of your mind? No, uh, I, I uh, no, I, I didn't read them to to talk about them tonight. But my initial well, today's reading of, the day I'm going to go it, DefCon three on Jews. I think that's kind yeah. of you know. I, you know uh, does he even know what DefCon three is? And I, I, I think he said DefCon, <laughs> meaning DefCon. Uh, you know, I, I don't think that the guy really knows what he's talking about, but I don't think he's a bigot. Okay, well, we got Phil's opinion. I guess mine doesn't matter, so I won't even. Well, it's your turn. turn. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not even going to bring it up. You well, know. you don't think Kanye West has uh, 
uh, uh, the free speech. Now, he was dropped by one of his, uh, um, uh, what, what do they call those guys that pay him money? Um, yeah, uh, by Adidas. Adidas. By, by the Gap. It wasn't just one. By, yeah, uh, how many more do you want me to name that dropped him? He's okay, well. He's losing billions of dollars because of his statements. Yes, but uh, he still was able to make those statements, and it cost him. It cost him money, and other people a can, lot of money. But it's private sector. Nobody's saying he can't say what he wants to say. Absolutely, you're right. We have the first, first amendment right to say what we want. Even and if, he even did. It cost him. Even if it cost you, you all those contracts. No yes, problem. he lost two players, professional athletes. I think. Yep. I know. I forgot which two it was. I know. He said something crazy. Well, come on, you can't agree with that. Uh, you know, I think it was interpreted as crazy. Oh, okay, yeah. And, right, right. and he is sort of crazy, but uh, next time you go to defend your 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 <laughs> uh, your synagogue, you go out to defend those synagogues. Bring bring this up and tell them what you just told me. Okay. Well, how about this, Alex? We're I really think, to see if he's got the job still. <laughs> I, I I really thought that a lot of what was said was taken out of context. You don't know what was said. Well, I, I don't remember at this no, point. What, the, what did he it, it say? What did he say, Phil? What are people right. mad about? Uh, I, I don't remember the See, exact you don't know word. what he said, Phil. Yeah, and you're, I do know. And, and I heard and, what and he you're, said. And, you're, and, you're, and you're, you're, you're doing this from a, I, I heard a position what he said. of ignorance. And I thought that the ignorance media was that was reporting it was taking it out of context and twisting his words. That's no, all. No, no. I heard what he said. Nobody was okay. twisting anything. Phil, All right. Phil is on some new medication. It's on nah, the Phil's not on any medication. He can't even remember who the governor of California is. He's yeah, well, I, I want to forget. <laughs> I, 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 that I want to forget. And he, you know, he sent me a thing on uh, like an hour long video on Marjorie Trash Can Green. Did he send it to all you guys? Too? I didn't get that. Oh well, you, you should you should listen to it. It's going to change your mind. You're going to think she's the best thing that happened to the Republican I, Party. I thought that she was excellent. Uh, I listened to her debate against Flowers, and uh, Flowers, his only saving grace was he's running because of January sixth, and he's running uh, because he's not Marjorie Taylor Greene or MTM, whatever he called her. Uh, this is not the kind of person I want. To lead the area you know now, something to begin with you're not from georgia so shut right. the fuck up well, it yeah, doesn't right. matter ideal, what you want wait a minute it doesn't marjorie matter what taylor you want green, wait a minute marjorie taylor green represents dalton georgia all the carpet comes from dalton georgia okay. dalton georgia is very important to me and i feel that the people of dalton should have the kind of representation that they want marjorie taylor green represents those people their thoughts and their uh desires Whereas flowers, he just doesn't like January sixth. Okay. Now, can you can you asked. can you shut up for about five minutes? Yeah, of course. Okay. Anybody else have something they want to say? <laughs> Phil, well, you I, I, slut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to respond. <laughs> I gotta. I'm gonna have to defend Phil for a minute here, Alex. You mm -hmm. ask a question about what rights do we have? No, I didn't say what America. rights. That was not rights. I would just not perks. Rights. I said perks. 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 I, I stand corrected. But everything mm -hmm. he brought up in his mind that was a perk, you didn't like, and. I, I, I think you well, but the perks were all these jingoistic perks, you know, what's, I mean, what's a perk? well, we, we have, have freedom of speech. Well, look, I'm telling you, I did talk shows for how many years and I never felt I had freedom of speech okay. that I could say okay. anything that I wanted to. Okay. But, but what, what about, how about a perk that you can have sex with whoever you want in this country, as long as they're not a minor? What? So you can be gay, you can be <laughs> straight, and you be won't killed be killed in some oh, countries. Oh, no, in this country, up until recently, you could get killed being gay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you it, kill, you get you killed, and you get killed by cops being black. And you, you know, and, and uh, you know, uh, uh, should we talk about the way the Asians were treated in this country for years? Oh, we're talking about now. You asked years. Phil now what 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 perks? What perks? perks I don't feel I have any perks. I don't have any perks okay. from being a citizen. Okay. You know what? The right to vote? What from a limited slate of two people? Come on. That, uh, that, well, that that's the right to vote. 
The right to vote is having tons of people running and you getting to choose from among them. That would be a start. But it's the way our system works. Well, it, works it, shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be working that way. I, I agree. My well, order. go around to uh, Jeff and Charlie and so, and Kevin and ask them what perks they think they have as American. Um, I, Charlie, I can't, I can't what, believe... perk, what perk do you have as a as an American citizen? Well, I have I have the right to be com infinitely in debt for going to college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then having a bunch of Republicans stop you from getting repaid for that by the government, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just sign on the line, which is dotted. Mm -hmm. I thought you were yeah, going to shut up for five minutes. Well, I, uh, yeah. count fast. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, Charlie, it's a good, good answer. Good answer. I'm contributing to my grandkids to go to college. Yeah, but you're not getting that perk from the government. Uh, well, they're getting certain benefits from certain certain whatever it comes from i don't know They're, it comes from the but university. even those perks even those perks have with them some kind of caveat you know some kind of repayment at some point or whatever oh yeah there's plenty of not realizing that, that an edu educated person uh, yeah. uh, you know who we got here uh, i can't even see anymore i'm i'm i'm, I'm going blind slowly Mm. Brad Freeman. Who's Brad Freeman? That's no. probably Bree. You know, it says Brad. That's Bree. Bree. B is Free is Brad. Oh, it's Brad. Oh, yeah. Okay. Freeman. All right. Uh, uh, and uh, I wonder if he's eating somewhere or traveling somewhere or going somewhere. Well, if you bring him on, we'll know. Well, let's see here. He's we, coming. Are you there? I, I, is it Bree? Yes, yeah. it's, Bree. Yeah, it's Bree. It's Bree. And you're back home, right, Bree? I am. I'm back in Malaysia. In Malaysia. Where, where in Malaysia? Do you have a particular town? Um, yeah. It, well, it's called the Klang Valley. Mm -hmm. That sounds nice. So, you know that? Mm -hmm. You know the Klang, Klang Valley? No. Never heard okay. of it, but it sounds nice. How's the crime over there? Yep. <laughs> How's don't the they crime have any. over there? They don't have any. Not like your block. My block's happy. I'm um, like, at the mail. They want to see me ring Yeah, I mean, we have crime, sure, but uh, not. It's not like no people don't carry guns around without licenses. They're ringing the bell now. <laughs> <around. laughs> people don't carry guns around. Period. I'm making fun of Texas. Yeah. 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 Bree, what happens if somebody uh, uh, commits a crime in Malaysia? How does the how are they dealt with? Oh, I mean, I don't know, Phil. I mean, I, I can give this is I, w I was watching uh, Pierce Morgan and Jordan Peterson uh, YouTube video. And th there's a certain point where the conversation was good, where he was talking about psycho psychology and things like that. Then he starts talking about, you know, uh, politics and Putin and war. And I was like, what? You know, there's some, uh, <laughs> he shouldn't have been talking about things he, he has. He doesn't have the expertise to talk in, but, you know, never stopped him. Kind of but like uh, Bill. yeah, I mean, so we're just here. We're just having fun. We're just talking. It's different, um, you know. But uh, you you can get uh, caned and you can get prison, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think Phil's on his way to Malaysia. He likes yeah, that caning it, stuff. If they cane you, what kind of offenses would they cane you for? Oh, in uh, uh, I know that in Singapore, right? Uh, it would be chewing gum or throwing chewing gum on the on the cement. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Sell chewing gum in Singapore. No, no, no. No. So is that a? They would not do that. Well, what, that kid, that, uh, one American got got caned, and I'm trying to remember what his. They referred Michael to Michael Fay. Yeah. For graffiti. The graffiti. But okay. Yeah. A little bit more. There's more to that story. Really? Yeah. There's some. There was some kind of football coach in texas that said he would stand in for him yeah but the guy likes that it's, yeah well that's that's, that's, that's what came out <laughs> yeah this weekend i'm gonna get caned too yeah, so. yeah. yeah. I mean, he says i'm a republican i'm used to being yeah. caned i'll step in for him what what is that he's gonna pot us Oh, what do you? Uh, oh, onion, onion ring. ring. Wait a minute, I want one. That's good. Oh, did you bring <laughs> a share with everybody? Did you bring oh, enough man. for the whole class? You don't cook like that, yeah. Tony. <laughs> I'm just making my lunch. 
No, but still, you know, I mean, um, but let me ask Alan. Alan, perks? What perk do you get for being an American? I'm not going to ask Bree because he's not being an American right now. <laughs> you know, I, you know I, you're, I, I'm going to get shot down because I agree with some of the perks that Phil said. I mean, we have we have certain rights in this country. You can chew gum here. You can spit gum on the sidewalk. I don't like it on the sidewalk, but you don't get caned or imprisoned or shot over it. So, so what you're saying is the perk is you can spit on the ground. You can walk around in the nude in San Francisco. You no. just can't sit on a park bench without putting something underneath your tush. <laughs> and it's legal. Yeah, well, that's California. Here in New York, if I did it, forget it. Well, you would freeze. It's called a Wednesday afternoon. I would immediately be, I'd be immediately in a psych ward at Bellevue. That's right. You know? you, you, see, the benefit is they get a free place to live it for a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you're getting a benefit. Getting a Three hots and a cot. Yeah. Yeah. But first they gotta warm up, they gotta use warm water to get your, your bare ass off the bench in New York. They don't have to I'm do just that saying, you know, I mean, I just never felt I always felt I I've been saying this for maybe the last forty years on the air, that we live in an illusionary democracy. We like to think it's a democracy, but it really isn't. No. You know, representative right. uh, Bree. Why, why, let me let me ask Bree. Why are you agreeing with me, Bree? Well, look, the, the, I, you, I've come. To, I think a lot of people came to this conclusion years ago that you know how we have one president for our country. It, the only reason that we're to, that we sort of exist is because the general population, the general person, you know, is more good than evil. You know, because there's no way that we can. I mean, think of the the. <laughs> The United States, how large it is. We mm -hmm. have, we're supposed to have one person representing us, you know, essentially all of us. It's kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Yeah. You know, in the UK, they have three prime ministers a month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, I just, uh, uh, you know, we, but I was talking about, well, my feeling about Kanye West is you can say, he could say whatever he wants to. Uh, the and and uh, Adidas has every right to stop doing business with him, okay? Because they are a business; they don't want to be associated with that kind of thinking. They're there to sell products. They're not going to sell products if people feel they're siding with Kanye, okay? Or Ye. I want to give him his due, all right? But I think there is an a backlash to him that he shouldn't. He, in other words. He shouldn't have to suffer uh, any any legal repercussions, uh, and people are starting to go after him on every level. I I understand why I wouldn't want to advertise have him be work for my company or be a spokesman for my company, not with his feelings. <laughs> but on the other hand, he has a right to those feelings, yeah. and I will stand up for his right to say them, although I don't agree with them, and I think he's grossly misinformed. And I don't care. They keep saying, well, is he on his meds? Well, I, that's not an excuse, okay? That's not an excuse. He's and acting like a fucking... Anybody who listens he, to him, Alex, he, he, gives well, him any attention, he, he, I feel is enabling him. Well, I, I quite frankly don't... If I see his name, mm -hmm. I immediately turn it off. I go away. I'm not okay. interested in what he has to say, not interested in what he does, period. In my mind... He just doesn't exist. Well, I yeah. do the same thing with the Kardashians. Yep, uh, you know, same thing. It's Kardashians. Why are they on there? I think you should have a vote. Kardashians. You should be able to vote them on. Yeah. No, you know? I, 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 quite frankly, number one, I never bought any music by Kanye. And if I, if you ask me to name something he did, I can't tell you. And if you even Strong. play it, I couldn't tell you that was Kanye. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh -huh. Right? Bill does it with the Kardashians. The rest I, of us do us when Marjorie Taylor Greene or Donald Trump get up there and talk. I, what, what has he done? Let they, me they ask you a question. He has a line if, of clothing and uh, and some other stuff, and he's a billionaire. and uh, some kind of rap singer or something, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, he's but he has so millions of rap songs. 
Well, I don't listen to rap songs, but uh, you know, I know. I'm but saying I would never yeah. buy I would never buy his music because I don't like his music, and I would, I, don't think I would never listen music. to it. I would never buy his clothing about, because, quite frankly, Jay-Z I think so. Some... Lincoln Park. Did you listen to that? What? Lincoln Park. I've been getting into that uh, numb encore like the last few days. Jay Z and Lincoln Park. That's a good tune. Yeah, but that's not that's not Kanye. That's not what we're talking no. about. Here. Wasn't uh, Lincoln yeah, he, Park that uh, uh, Western style? The guy no. it was a black. Uh, uh, no, uh, he, no. He sung country no, music. No, no, no. Boy, uh, Phil Billy is really missing. Isn't it's, it's amazing how misinformed Phil is tonight. I'm well, you, he's 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 he, he couldn't he, even pronounce Kardashian correctly. Who cares? You know, well, if you're going to say it, have respect enough for them to say their name correctly. I don't have any respect for the Kardashians. I think they're a farce. Uh, you so know, I put it this way. Who would you rather have sex with? Any one of the Kardashians or Marjorie Taylor Greene? <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> I mean, she's hot. <laughs> what? No yeah. I, oh, yeah, I like her. Oh, I'll, I'll send you that thing. You, you, you get the full frontal. Yeah, and, this is the guy go to medical advice. Right? Yeah, you know, I, I'm not into those big booties. Oh, oh, okay, you know, look, I, I don't, you know. I don't want to have to tie a... Breathing, anybody that's breathing is good. Yeah, I don't want to have to tie a two-pie four to my ass so I don't fall in and drown with the Kardashians. But I, Paris Hilton, on the, other, on the other hand, I thought was attractive. And she was one of those Kardashian people. Do you think anybody here cares who you find attractive? Of course, of course. You just look at it in the chat. I just fig- I just figured out why nobody listens to this program anymore. Hey, one word, Phil. I don't call in. No, I'm telling you, the Alex and Phil half hour is is really st- something special in 2022. I mean, you rarely get to have. I mean, let, let's face it. Sean Hannity. He doesn't have Mike Farrell on ever. And, you know, they, it used to be that there were these debates between left and right. You don't find that. Well, anymore. here's what here's what used to happen, Bree. When I worked at WMCA in New York, I was the big lefty. I was the youth guru, as it were. Yes, you were. Right after me, Bob Grant came on. Staunch conservative. Yep. All right? Strong right winger. Sean Hannity before there was a Sean Hannity. Okay? Um, and... Um, it's interesting that we all worked at the same station. There was another guy who was a liberal, another person who was to the, you know, people of different bents and political feelings. Yeah. And we all sometimes argued with each other and did things like that. It made, it made for exciting radio. But now what we have on radio is radio stations with all the same opinion from one show right. to another it's, or exactly a TV right. channel. It, we, we just lost Jim Bohannon and the guy that replaced him, his first guest is Mark Levine. So it's like, okay, well, there goes that one opportunity mm-hmm. late at night where Jim Bohan was actually a somewhat voice of reason. He's gone. And the guy they get to replace him, you know, is Mark Levin is his first guest. So that tells you there. It, and, you know, the problem I have with Sean Hannity, Mark Levine, and the others is, you know, they're in a straitjacket. They can never, I mean, everything that it has to go a certain way. They can never stop and say, well, let me think about this. And let me, <laughs> let me argue it from different sides. They can't do that. They well, I'll tell you what the biggest trouble, what the biggest trouble is, Bree, is they're all saying what they say, not out of conviction, but out of the money they're making saying it. I can't believe that all of them are bought and paid all, for. It's not bought and paid for. They have decided to buy and pay themselves. Yeah. They mm-hmm. found if tomorrow, Sean Hannity is not going to say, you know, tomorrow I think I'm just going to start being a little more humane. I'm going to get away from this right wing stuff. No. Because he's you making money off yeah. of being a right winger. It is you only to, he's only to. there for the money. You used to talk to Tucker Carlson uh, on Friday nights yeah. on the radio, uh, right? No, no, on MSNBC. MSNBC, yeah. and and did you feel that he was being genuine in that his position? No, he was completely Similar different position. back then. He was oh. a he was a right winger, yeah. But he was fair because he had me on. Okay. And then he had a when guy. When was the last time you were on, Alex? Oh well, this was years ago. You See, know. why can't we? Why did we get away from this? Why is it not? Well, there because anymore? MSNBC went out and uh, um, uh, decided they were going to be the right wing, the left wing channel, 
and they got rid of Tucker Carlson. And when Tucker went, I went, you know, because he wasn't doing that feature on Fridays anymore. You know, so our media does not serve us. Mm -mm. You know, no. thank goodness it's the traditional mass media is generally going. Well, away. it used to have to by law. The FCC yep, made requirements upon radio stations that they had to have equal time for equal Fair opinions. Play or, Can or I just finish what I'm saying, Phil, yeah, without, well, one, without a single interruption, okay? Uh -huh. uh, and and we, had to, we had to justify that. Uh, there was a thing called the equal time provision. There was a thing called the fairness doctrine, which That's is if I besmirched somebody, they had the right to come on my show and have equal time to, to uh, answer to it. But then that all disappeared. And that was the thing that Rush Limbaugh saw an opening in. As soon as that happened, Rush suddenly went to the right, started having this opinion, didn't let anybody else on who disagreed with him. Uh, now, uh, I will say that Rush was a very talented broadcaster who was very funny and, and very entertaining, and people don't understand why he was such a big success. It wasn't because of his politics. It was because there was an underlying current of humor there that people enjoyed. Okay, in the beginning, later on, he got crazy. But the point exactly. I'm making is that that uh, I uh, I really you know the, the, these these the people who are doing it today are doing it for the buck, you know. And that's if tomorrow Fox said to uh, Sean Hannity, well, listen, we're going to keep you on, but you you you've got to take a cut and pay by two hundred percent or whatever, uh, he'd be gone. He'd just leave. You know, he's there to make a buck. Where would he go? I'm not, that's not the point I'm trying to make here, Phil. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just saying. Can, I'll no, tell you where no he can go. I'll tell you where he can go. He can go to, he can go to hell. Okay, go to hell. Go to Newsmax. Newsmax, whatever. But he, Another losing station, yeah. Sky News. Guy, yeah. You know, but I mean, I just, it's, it, it, it's just uh, amazing to me that, uh, you know, that uh, I mean, people don't realize that Hannity is, is conning them. If, if, if Hannity thought tomorrow being a left winger would make him the kind of money he's making as a right winger, he'd suddenly <laughs> change his politics. Yeah. Well, I, I don't I mean, think that sounds, like, that sounds like Donald Trump. I don't because agree with that. Because, Life I mean, it's, it's Democrat and then he becomes a Republican. Donald Trump, people change. Phil, I have more authority to give that opinion than you do to disagree with my opinion because I have dealt with Hannity and I know people, I, and Alan Combs used to work with him, I know all about Hannity and I know exactly right. why he stands where he stands, okay? Hmm. So don't say that, you know, I, you don't believe that. I, I don't get that feeling from him on his persona. Well, no, no, because that's air. part of the con he does. Oh, he, he's done a good job. <laughs> he conned me. <laughs> well, you, you're easily conned. You're easy. Look, oh, thank you, you think Trump's a good idea. Come on. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, to I fill a, a hot scene is to have uh, Marjorie Trashcan Green and, uh, and, and AOC in bed with him at the same time. No, I do them both. Yeah, let yeah, me, let me, just by raise of hands, hey, how many here would rather have sex with Marjorie Taylor Green than OAC? Me. Not even yeah. Phil raised yeah. his yeah. hand on that yeah. one. I, I, OAC's hot. AOC. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. AOC, yeah. You can use a ball gag on either one of them, so, you know. Well, I'll say anything about them in AOC. <laughs> But, um, you know, I mean, and I just, I, you know, I just think that the, you know, the whole, what, what's happened to America is we've completely lost our way. Now, I'm not saying that this is the worst time I've ever lived in America. I go back, I always mention this, back to the 50s, the Un-American Activities Subcommittee, oh. the whole w w communist witch hunts, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Just as bad as a lot of the stuff that's going on now. But I, it was at that time that I formed my opinion that this country was full of shit about itself, that it's not the democracy it purports to be, that democracy is just an illusion, and, and we are fed it in school, and we're taught that, the, you know, all I want out of America is what I was taught America was when I was in school, and it isn't. It depends on where you grew up, too. To, to you're, you're looking talking. for utopia. No, I'm not, looking, there is for, no I'm not looking for utopia. I'm looking for what I signed up for. What I was taught was America. 
Well, uh, America is an experiment, and experiments. Well, have I'm sorry, that work, experiments that don't. Uh, experiments. Wait, I'm embarrassed over what was done to the Japanese during World War II. I'm but you have no problem with this idiot, what he said about Jews yesterday? No, uh, because I think that the media took it out of car, uh, out of. Oh, out there of wasn't that. any context, <laughs> Phil. Uh, it, it was my opinion. No, when you, I, you can take it. Said. Well, you didn't hear it. I heard it, but I didn't. No, you didn't hear it. it. You didn't hear it. Now I'll, I'll, I'll you, look at it again. Answer me this, Alex. What? Why does Kanye West get attention? Why does he get media attention? I mean, oh. he hasn't really had any songs in a long time. He was a singer, right? Well, uh, it, it's uh, it's so the it's why? it's the media. The media latches onto a story, and then they beat it to death. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I, I you know I don't I do think that what Kanye said was wrong. I do think it was terrible. I think it was grossly misinformed and shows you just how crazy a person he is. Well, why I do mean, you listen to him? I don't listen to him. It was on the but news. You, you know it. Because of when it was on the news. Yeah. Turn it off. Well, I mean, you, but I know what he said, you know. I don't. Well, uh, you might want to. <laughs> you know, turn, I mean. turn your VPN on, Bree, and go to another country. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I, what was it? I, I heard uh, an interview oh, with uh, Chris Cuomo interviewed him. Yeah. And it was amazing. It was just amazing. I heard parts of that. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was ridiculous. It was just, uh, um, uh, who, who, I, I don't know how to describe it, but he was in a car, and he was just insane about everything. I think yeah. Cuomo ought to run for governor again in New York. This is yeah, Chris definitely. Cuomo, not Andrew oh, Cuomo. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> Where's Chris Christie? Hmm? Chris Christie, is he doing anything? I don't know. I saw him on uh, Bill Maher a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I actually, you know, it's strange. I have this love-hate relationship with him because I think he is, when he's not being political, he's very entertaining and very glib, you know? I mm -hmm. wouldn't mind having dinner with Chris Christie and uh -huh. just to uh, have the conversation, you know? Yeah, I like him too. Yeah. I wouldn't mind either. I think he's heavier than me. <laughs> he, he had his he had his stomach stapled or whatever they do down there oh, and, yeah, and i don't i, I don't know part. what's he doing eating cardboard a lot or something <clears throat> i don't know but he's not losing weight no yes no. uh yes jack well i'll tell you about stomach stapling i had a friend that did that and it will initially cause you to lose weight but after a while People can start overeating again, eating the wrong thing, and balloon back up. Yes. We had a friend that lost, oh, gee, a uh, hundred pounds because of stomach stapling. Mm -hmm. Within sight, within within three to four years, she was back up to almost three hundred pounds. Yep. Well, stable. what you got to do? When you, your eating habits. Well, no, you yeah. have to change your brain. You have to rewire your right. brain. Absolutely, uh, right. and and you can't think about food in the same context that you did before. Absolutely, you know? but anybody know who this actor is? Billy Gardell. Yeah, uh, he, yeah, he's on um, I, uh, Bob Hart's Abishola, and he was on uh, what was it? The Fat Man and the Fat Woman. And Molly and M whatever. Mike and Molly. Yeah, Mike and, yeah. Uh, and Molly, he oh, a very true. fat guy. And yep. he just lost, I think he said, 170 pounds it was. Yeah, I saw the show, promo for the show. I couldn't believe it was him. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm happy for him, you know. And now, and he was, I saw him in an interview, and he said the biggest problem is, is that your brain still wants to eat. Yeah. And you've got to somehow change what your brain is saying. Yes. You know, and... Uh, it's it's difficult for somebody like that because all their life they've associated food with some, with something, and I don't know. You know, I probably, I I've had friends who were fat, and we go out to dinner and I would I would eat them, and yet they'd get fatter, and I wouldn't gain anything. It's it, a disease. It, it's it's something with your metabolism, something with yep. your system or whatever, and I yep. feel sorry for people who have it. 
Yeah. I have a lot of friends that are skinny and they can out eat me and I'm a big guy. I'm 300 pounds. Yeah. Six foot, On a pounds. good day. <laughs> hey, I've got a, I've got a friend. Uh, she, uh, who, at least I'm not I, on yeah, all these bad diets, Phil. I had a, I had dinner with her this evening. She's a friend of Donna and mine, and 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 since I've got problems getting around and driving, she does a lot of the driving for me. And uh, took her out to dinner this evening as a thank you for running some errands for me. Mm -hmm. She ate <sighs> a twelve ounce steak. Oof. Nice. <laughs> wow. Hopefully it was cooked. I, I had a little seven or eight ounce thing and left almost half of it. Well, how old is she and how old are you? Well, let's see. Uh, in, in real ages or in real, in real years or in dog years? Dog years. I'm, I'm 76. There you go. She is 55, Okay. 56. Here's the reason why. I find at my age... I'm not eating what I eat. I'm st I get full faster than I normally do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and it, that happens when you get older. It just happens when you get older. Uh, and so I, you know, I gained a bit of weight back because of all the stuff that was done to me. But I haven't gained anything since then, and I'm eating a lot. You know, but when I sit down to dinner, I only eat maybe one meal a day now. Well, that's about like me, Alex. Uh you know, yeah. if, if I can, uh, Donna is always on me. You're not eating enough. You're not eating enough. And I've said, said, no, I'm eating enough for a guy that now weighs 180 pounds, not for a guy who weighed 230 pounds mm -hmm. when the COVID-19 <laughs> shutdown started. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so, I mean, uh, all, all I'm saying, like Chris Christie, um, whenever Marjorie sees him on television, so she goes. Oh, she always likes to talk to the TV set, like the TV set can understand what she's saying, and she yells at the screen. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. She's not alone. A hey, lot wait, of hey, wait a minute, Bennett. I thought your wife was Jewish. I didn't know she was black. No, well, anyway, no. Only, Kanye no, West no, says no, no, blacks no. are Jews. It's not. It's not television. It, it, you guys talk in the movies. Okay, you shout at the screen, you know. I went to, I remember once I went to a Woody Allen movie. I don't know if it was Manhattan or it was one of the Woody Allen movies. And you would think that a Woody Allen movie, you never hear anybody yell at anybody, you know, in the theater. There were some couple of black people yelling, you tell them, girl. Okay. I love these big black women in Walmart. They don't need a PA system. Oh, in the store. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but that's anyway, because those scooters that they ride on have PAs installed on them. <laughs> well, don't they don't put don't put off. down electric scooters because we got a guy here who uses one. So you got two guys. I I use one part time now. Yeah, you, you use one part time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I oh. used it uh, this evening to go out to dinner. Yeah. Get out of my way! I'm coming through. Well, I like I like them at Costco. It's like out of my way. I'm I I I'm on a scooter, and I went to say to myself, all I have to do is walk in with a cane. And say to the people at Costco, I want to use a scooter, and the scooter will be right there, yep. and I can I then. You could use those even without asking. They're just just there. You take them and and go. Yeah, they're complimentary. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can get nasty with them. They're always nasty with you, the people yeah, on the oh, scooters. Yeah. Like, you know, get out of my way. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. Hey, you're in my way. Get, yeah. oh, get off my lawn. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, Tony, how you doing? Have you started your regimen regimen for uh, prostate? Uh, uh, next week I got the simulation. It's I've been cleared, so I got to go next Thursday. What is the simulation? Oh. It's probably the real thing, and they just didn't tell them. Uh, no, I no, I, I had it happen. Can, it's a rehearsal, is what it is. Yeah, it, it literally okay. is. The bio market, you may read it. Well, it sounds like they put. It's like an external machine where they, they actually kind of like X-ray to see where. I guess well, they. I have four the, four tattoo marks on my you, belly. I won't show show. Uh, I have it inside. I, I don't even know. If they, I know they're still there. I just haven't looked at them lately. But it's mm. just a little, little very, you know. And I said to them, I said, uh, you know. I, when, now that you've tattooed me, can I be buried in a Jewish cemetery? <laughs> and they, they said, yes, you can, because according to the rabbi, just ask your <laughs> rabbi, he will say, if it's for medical purposes, it's okay. 
you know. Numbers are okay too. That's not my I I heard your tattoo was the Bud Man, <clears throat> or uh, uh, the Happy Face. You know, you Budweiser, Bud, Budweiser. Man anyway, so you're going you're going to do the rehearsal next week. Yeah, next Thursday. Yeah. We yeah, they pretend like they're doing the whole thing, you know, and they they just want to see if they they because they have to mark in their in their on their stuff where they're going to be, aim the beam and so on and so yeah. forth. Yeah. Right. Do you Alex, have to drink the water? MRI. I think that's, I think I, I guess they'll have the image of it too. They can see it. He was trying to explain it to me on the phone, but I guess he'll tell me more when I go there. They don't use an MRI. Tony? They don't use an MRI, Tony. They use a CT scan. Well, I did scan. the MRI before that. I was asking, do they take that MRI to, I wonder if they, like when you I sure went for it was the, an MRI? Because I, they gave me nothing but CT yeah. scans. Yeah, hey, when you, Tony, do, do they make you drink the water? And well, take she told me she's going to make me drink the water at, 9 15 20 ounces at home and then when they drop when i get driven over oh, oh then, i'm sorry then, you you are not doing it right at my hospital which is <laughs> um, mount sinai i could have heard of wrong they okay. supply the water oh she says you're gonna give me more water there too if i need it. yeah no but you uh, and and i i think i told the story before and it was terrific but what happens you drink about uh, i think it's five mm -hmm. glasses of water or whatever because that makes the extends the everything down there, so the they get a nice picture, and then they can then zap it with the radiation, and so I uh, fill myself up first time pretty good. But about the fifth time we did it, the fifth day, which was my last day, they said, uh, you "You're a little too that. filled up with water. Uh, can you go get rid of a little bit of it?" Oh, you had to go back. God, so that I would have been horrible. I know, uh, but I did it. I went to the bathroom, I urinated just a little bit, and then I got yeah. back on the gurney again and said, mm. let's do this fast because, oh, you, you know. Do kegels? Huh? Do you do those Kegel exercises? Is that how no, you're able to no, control it? No, 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 no. I just, no, they, only women do those. Did you do them? No, men, can do, men do them too, especially if they have incontinence after the radiation. Right. Yeah. So, so can I clarify something real quick here? MRI is used to scan the prostate and find out where the cancer is. Once they know where the cancer is, they don't need the MRI anymore, if I understand this right, and they start using a CT scan. Wrong. Wrong. You're okay. absolutely wrong. Okay. I, w I never went through an MRI. I would know it because I would refuse well, to do an MRI. Well, they didn't have them when you had cancer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, I did everything they did to me. They did with using a CT scan, and when no they were when they did the radiation somebody. itself, there is a CT involved in it, so they can see where the cancer yeah, it's is. It's kind of open, right? It was an open type of area. Like yeah, that. Like but CT see. scans pick pick up can pick up prostate cancer and where the cancer is. My doctor, if they he couldn't find it that way, he would put me in an MRI tube, but he didn't. Yeah, you have an option. I think they said yeah. yeah. I just it was there for me right next door, Alex. So I just did it. Just so are you claustrophobic, Tony? I actually am but i just kind of put my uh, they gave me a headset and when they were, when i was going in i don't know if i i think i might have told you this when i was going in at first i had my eyes open says you know what you got to take me out i said so i closed my eyes i kind of they gave me the headset and they said i says put on like elton john so i closed my eyes and i went in the tube and i just would not open my eyes so i kind of like almost got very relaxed and then i kind of just fell asleep and then they just i was actually trying to count the songs because yeah. i figured you know i knew how long they were then the next thing, I kind of fell off, and then they just pulled me out. She was, you're done. It was like maybe 12 minutes. I oh, thought Sean Hannity. So, yeah, so I would have went crazy. Yeah, went crazy. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Tony, so Tony, Tony, a CT scanner looks like a big donut. It's about this wide. Yeah. And there's a camera that spins real quick. An MRI is the one where they put you in the tube. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Yeah, well, they, they, they never did that to me at all at any point. And the doctor that I had is the best prostate cancer guy in the country. And uh, he didn't feel any need to put me in an MRI. Mm. He could see everything he needed to see with uh, with the CT scan. So it was actually- I'm, I'm always off. getting these, uh, these updates on my phone that's revolutionary. Prostate cancer is gone and never have to worry about it. You know, and it's, it's not a spam crap. kind. It's like, it's like from The Guardian or something. You know, it's like a legitimate news source. Uh, every, Marie, have every, you ever... every every month they come out with a different article about oh here's a different way of handling prostate cancer mm -hmm. and the fact of the matter is that if you get it in time 
they, they zap it with radiation and then sometimes if you're lucky, you get a doctor who does the seeds like uh, I had and like Tony's gonna mm -hmm. have. And that's yeah. it, you know, and that uh, pr hopefully I'm, I'm never gonna have a prostate cancer again, knock on wood. You know, Bree, did you do a search for prostate cancer at one time? Bree, did you do a search for prostate yeah. cancer at one time? Is that why you're getting those things or did you have prostate cancer? No, maybe, no, I just, I get a lot of medical updates. The latest one is that they have a pill. Oh, really? Switching from a shot to a pill. Yeah. And uh, I, I read one the other day, somebody in India, they had some kind of stone in their stomach and the guy, the doctor prescribed two cans of Coca-Cola every day for a week and it was gone. And it's actually medically true. Like that, that the, the Coca Cola. Yeah, but down. you know, uh, getting a rock out of your stomach and getting a, pro a cancer out of your prostate are two entirely <laughs> different propositions. You know. Bree, so you'll know it. You can take a corroded battery cable from an automobile, yeah. put it in a glass of Coca Cola, and the Coca Cola will clean it. But mm -hmm. look, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Be leery of all of this stuff. Here's the, you know, here's the one thing I know about prostate cancer, and I've not had it yet. Well, good luck. You'll men, probably, if you live long enough, you will. Most, most men will yeah. get it. Yep. Here's the one thing I know: is most men will get it sometime in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. And there are two types. Some if you live have, long, if you live long enough, like I said, I, I said, mm -hmm. well, the downside of being 81, which I was at the time, was being 81. Uh, 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 the upside was being 81, making it to yeah. 81. The downside was, no wonder I've got prostate cancer. I lived long enough to get it, you know, so. And there are some people that have fast growing prostate cancers. There are some people that, that have slow growing. I have a friend who is now 90 years old and was diagnosed with a slow growing prostate cancer 15 years ago. Yeah. And he hasn't had to have the surgery yet. Now, is there any truth to the fact that Tony is only 52 or 53, mm -hmm. and at that young age, is prostate cancer stand to be more aggressive uh, than if you got it at an older age? I don't think it, so. It, well, it, it, no, it, 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 they worry about it more at his age yeah. uh, and treating it more aggressively than they do when... I got it at my age, but the thing is that still, if you catch it early enough, you know, you get the same results, so. Mm. But Tony, I'm sure, was told that he could do the wait and watch and get his, mm. his favorite test done every 12 to 18 mm. months where they do a biopsy to see if the cancer's <laughs> growing or not. Well, I did ask mm. him that, the question, the doctor, and he goes, oh. since, because they couldn't feel it on the regular rectal scan, so on the biopsy, when I had the, uh, what you call it, he, I say, can, you know, does it matter with my age? And the, and he did tell me, Phil, he says, he says, a lot of, he says, you could have had this for a while. He says, you just didn't know because you didn't test for it, he says. He says, we never really knew what your baseline was. But he says, there's really no, like, if you have it now, he says, it could be, it could stay like this for, say, five years, and it may never progress to three threes. Because there's really, you know, they only go by what the Gleason score is on that. That's why... But That's he right. thinks if you're you have a three four, yeah, you well, said you had a, a three four. Okay, okay, well, I'm sure our audience is getting very bored by this discussion. You know, yeah. when, when they how would you know? There's only yeah. three of them, and we're all on the show. When, when they when they remove <laughs> Kanye West gets prostate cancer, yeah. we'll all hear about it. Yeah, yeah. when when yeah, when, and the Jews gave it to him. The Jews gave it to him. Yeah, and they gave it to Diddy. The Kardashians that gave it to him. Hey, white lives matter. When Phil, mm. when look Phil what happened his, to Michael Douglas. You know, when Phil, when Phil had his prostate wait, 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 removed, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jack was minute. talking and you interrupted him. I said, look, no, you know, look what happened to Michael Jackson. You eat a little pussy and you get throat cancer. You mean Michael <laughs> Douglas? <laughs> you said Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. Kurt Douglas' son, Michael. Yeah. Well, what San Francisco. Well, what I, what I used to say about his wife was that's some pretty mean pussy. I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> hey, I mean, it's worth it. Yeah, when <laughs> Phil had his prostate removed, they found ovarian cancer, too. But, I mean, um, um, anyway, getting back to where we were. Oh, you know what my main question was, Jack, tonight? Maybe you can hmm. give me an answer to this. I know all things. Well, my big question tonight was, you know, you get... You expect certain perks out of certain things. 
Right. What, do, what, it, what, what perks do you get for being an American citizen? What perks? You know, uh, Jeff has had his hand up four times yeah, now. Wait a minute, Jeff? Hey, I'll Jeff, I'll, I'll think about that and answer your question. Yeah, Jeff? So I didn't, you know, I, I got everybody talking about Mehmet Oz. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I, whatever Alex said about him, I know him personally. But you know, I'm right then. He's an asshole. Yeah. The biggest. <laughs> That oh, yeah, and the people around him thought he was an asshole too, didn't they? Of course, yes, of course. Yeah, and he'll you know, do always. well in Washington. He'll fit <laughs> right in. It's a perfect place for it. But, yeah. but I wanted to ask you guys: Have you actually heard the guy who's running against him? Fetter Fetterman. 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 Yeah. 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 yeah and I I'm curious as to what you thought about his demeanor. Is his communication and well no everything said, everything that i've heard business, every, yeah. everything that i've heard about about uh, aphasia which is what he has mm -hmm. which is i'm sure you probably had it after you had a stroke still have it you still have it to a certain extent yeah but it doesn't impact your daily life does it no because if i'm talking to my wife she'll give me a pass yeah but right? i mean you you tell yeah, me you guys yeah. Give me a pass. Yeah, also. yeah, but you, 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 you seem pretty good. But you told me. Well, I, you told me the one thing you can't do is you can't read anymore. That's right. You can't read, which is exactly what happened to Fetterman. Doesn't mean that you right. can't think things through and you're not logical and you're not able to do certain tasks. What I read so is I get so, something on a computer and I have it talk to me. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so, I'm sure he could yeah. do the same. And, and so that was aphasia. Am I correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so there's so, only one other problem with Fetterman. All his political views are fucked up. You know, he he's uh, he wants to release murderers from jail. No, he, he's bullshit. He, bullshit, he is, bullshit, he is no he, bullshit, left. Phil. You talk well, about you, trust. you talk about you, you talk about uh, taken out of context, but you won't give somebody else the benefit of that doubt. Uh, no. He didn't say we should let people out of prison. Second degree murderers. Hey, Phil, let me explain something to you real quick so you get it straight. <laughs> Perfect. Sooner or later, unless somebody is executed, everybody that's in prison is getting out. We've got over a million people in jail right now around this country. We, the We've most of any country. The most of any country per yeah. capita. Hmm. Yet we have... But we have the highest incarceration rate, and we have the highest recidivism rate of any country. We're a country of laws, and when no, people break not. them, we arrest them. No, we're them. not, Phil. And we don't execute no, them. No. Hey, hey, hey listen That's here, boy. Hey, listen here, son. Let me explain something to you. Let him have it. Okay, Dad. All right. Have you lived in any other country for an extended period of time? No. All right. You can say that when you've given me five years in another country that doesn't function with our system. The I Japanese live in a country that doesn't function with our system. No, no, it functions with the system it has, which is not suitable for today. No, no I don't. I don't agree. You know what the Japanese found out 30, 40 years ago? You put somebody in jail, and if you educate them and teach them a trade. The recidivism rate drops significantly. It hasn't well, worked in this country. We have done we it. We haven't done country. it. No, it has. Mm -hmm. they, 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 we do. To begin with, that large population is overly populated with black Americans. Okay? Who get a worse and people deal, of color. Just, who get a worse deal in the justice system than anybody. Well, because they can't afford to fight the justice system, whereas a white dude can. Yeah. You, People in lower income communities and many of those communities are black communities commit a higher rate of crime than Phil, oh, Phil, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Let me let, let me interrupt here. Phil, you've got it all wrong. You're saying that it's po populations that are say of color, there's more crime. That is not where there's more crime, Phil. There's more lower, crime in lower income areas. Right. And that's what I said. 
No, that isn't what you said. I said many uh, lower income areas have higher uh, amounts Absolutely. of, wouldn't of that black be, or wouldn't, people of color. No, it, and it, it, and people of color are committing more. Leave crimes that out of it. Per leave capita. that out of it. People well, for, who have. I want to go ahead. Have, I'm sorry. I, people I'm, who have no uh, means. Uh, cause more crime than people who do because people who have money have a reason to not commit a crime because they'd like to keep that money. That's right. Okay. So, you know, what you did is you then made a bunch of the population unable to work, unable to earn a living, and then they have to go out and somehow get money somehow. Okay. By putting them on welfare and having no, bullshit. people, Phil, 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 enough of that in, bullshit. In a, in enough, a enough, enough, enough of that bullshit. All right, all right. Enough you know, you know bullshit. who gets the most amount of welfare in this country? The most amount? Yes. Corporations. Mm-hmm. In the uh, yeah, in the uh, what do they call that area? Like West Virginia, Appalachia. Appalachia. No, no. <laughs> Single white women with children. There you go. Well, around here it would be different. Well, you well, 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 let's go and find out if it's really different or if you just think it's different. Well, I, I, I look, I, I rode around the damn police car. Riding around is not counting heads and not counting people and not talking to the people about their Most situation. Most of the people that I saw on welfare, Jack, and I, and I don't know why this now, is. Now, and, 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 I, and, and what city were you patrolling? Uh, Fremont. Fremont. All right. What's the, what is the black or Hispanic population percentage-wise in Fremont? Black, very low. Hispanic, about a third. All right. It's mostly uh, Laotian, uh, Indian, and uh, Chinese. Look, here's the thing. Alex said it right. When people don't think they have a chance, go back to Jean Valdez, uh, uh, or John, I can't think of uh, of the play, but go back Mm -hmm. and you and you'll see that when people feel that the system is unjust to them, they will do whatever it takes to better their condition by whatever means necessary, just like Malcolm X Okay, said. Uh, we got two people who've hardly said anything tonight, Charlie and Kevin. Kevin, anything you want to say? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he said it all. Very well put it together. And Charlie? Only Kanye could be like that. Charlie? No, I, I, I agree that it's the uh, economic uh, status that leads more to crime than, than race. But, but, that, but the, the racial component comes into play because we have not given certain groups of people the opportunity to be part of the, shall we say, the economy. Exactly. All yeah. right? You and know. the idea that you can succeed. You know, uh, uh, Fats Domino once said the reason he still lived in a he ghetto. Said, Ain't that a shame? In New Orleans. <laughs> How am I thrilled? On Blueberry Hill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, New Orleans, because no bank would give him a home loan. Mm. Did he but need he had, one? I just want to continue this conversation here in about four minutes. Two minutes. On the intersection. At uh, well, Jack, where where are you? You you're not on. Are you on Zoom yet? Yeah, he, he, no, no, he's, he's not on Zoom. Zoom. He's on Skype. Oh, he's on Zoom now. On oh, Skype. No, 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 no. Right. Yeah, right. So. Uh, he, are you on YouTube? Uh, no, no, Alex, no, no, he just he just does audio. I, ah, yeah, okay. I, I don't he's know like if I'm me. ready to go go through that. Anyway, hey, listen, you better go, Jack. Jack's on OnlyFans. <laughs> And he'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> oh boy anyway another black guy who's has not get arrested yet yeah anyway oh, just two of them time. <laughs> that's it for tonight uh nice having you all here and uh, uh dealing with us in our little discussion thank you to jack uh jeff <laughs> phil then thank you to jeff then thank you to alan and thank you very much, Charlie Wallace. Uh, and of, of course, uh, grab them by the prostate. Got a tea, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tony and uh, Kevin. Thanks. Good having you here, Bree. Nice to see you once again as well, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.
uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. That's our, that's our, that's our group for tonight. Uh, our therapy. We won't be doing a show tomorrow night. The reason is Tuesday, Thursdays sometimes are a little slow, and uh, quite frankly, I'd prefer to just take the night off. So we won't be on tomorrow night, but we'll be on on Friday. Okay. In the meantime, stay tuned for Jack. He's next over most of this same gab net. Uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same, t- uh, 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 excuse me, uh, Friday night. Same time, <laughs> same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. Bye bye, everybody.